Good morning. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm going to be giving you prediction readings for the 25th of August. Oh my gosh, we're nearly at the end of August, guys. Um, first up, update on my um, sciatica, guys. I am getting there. I've got my back brace on again this morning. Um, I actually got out yesterday <laughs> with painkillers, of course. My hubby and I went out and had some brunch together. It was really nice to get out of the house after eight weeks of pretty much being housebound and bedridden um, and suffering a lot of pain. Um, and today I actually went grocery shopping, which oh, I nearly didn't make it around the shop. But at the end of the checkout, I had to go and sit on the seat while my hubby <laughs> got all the food checked through. Um, but look, I'm getting there. I do get a bit tired. I'm sleeping really well. I'm on a very small sleeping tablet and I do take mild painkillers during the day, just Panadine Rapids that just sort of keep me going. And I also take a, um, what do you call it? A um, nerve pain tablet to stop the pain. I get a lot of nerve pain down my leg because of the sciatica piriformis muscle. Um, so I'm getting there, guys. I just want to, I like to give you an update because I know a lot of you guys write to me and send me beautiful, kind wishes. Um, but one thing good has come out of all this, guys. Yes, because I have been pretty much doing nothing, zero, you know how it goes. Uh, hello, fingernails. <laughs> Look at my fingernails. Oh, I've got to put some on. I I'll show you this end. <laughs> Look at my long fingernails. I've never had long fingernails for like 10 years because I paint and garden and do everything. So, hello. I am enjoying having some fingernails. So, that's exciting. <laughs> what is the world coming to, guys? Actually, I have got some admin. I just got to get it. I just moved it over here. Hang on a tick. Oh, can't lean very far. You know how it goes, guys. Um, Cheers, everybody. I, I still haven't drunk coffee yet. I'm on my raspberry lemonade at the moment. So refreshing with lots of ice it's all i look for at the moment is like cold drinks i drink a lot of water too but you get a bit sick of water after a while don't you hope you're all going well i know a lot of you have been going through things too we sort of wonder why these things happen to us i know i have been asking that question a lot why has this happened to me for some reason um eight weeks is a big chunk of your life isn't it that I don't know, you just question these things. Why did this happen? There has to be something positive that comes out of it. But anyway, I guess down the track I will know. <laughs> I may not realize it at the moment because I'm still in a little bit of pain, etc. but I'll get there. Um, so I hope you're all going well too. I know a lot of you have been going through things too. Um, apart from the world falling down around us and Clown Show 2.0 that we talk about a lot, a um, little bit of admin, not a lot. Um, the other day I turned on the Jimmy Fallon show, guys. You know, the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. I think it's in America. He was interviewing Hillary Clinton. Like, she was pushing the democracy. Democracy. They're really pushing that with that Kamala Harris, aren't they? That they're going to be, you know, they just don't focus on mm, all the crap that Biden's done. But I thought it was just so weird. Like, what is Hillary Clinton? Why does anyone want to hear what she's got to say? I don't think anyone does, do they? Um, anyway, she was just blowing, you know, Kamala's trumpet. Um, I just get disappointed in those kind of shows when they go down the political road. I don't think they need to. I think they need to just keep it like celebrities and stars and just make it fun. But just listening to her, I thought, oh, just get her out of our faces. We've had enough of the Clintons, haven't we, guys? Um, the other thing that they were talking about today is, oh, yes, around the voting in America, they're using AI is being used for the campaign with fake imagery. And they got a woman on and she was talking about misinformation and disinformation. Um, and we know there's a lot of AI generated fake videos, etc., going around, i.e. perhaps Royal Kardashians, Kate sitting on the chair in the garden, perhaps, we don't know, but it was a little sus. Um, lots of that going on. So, don't know, but the AI is being used. There was something about Trump and Elon Musk doing some TikTok dance or something. It's absolutely mad. You don't even know what's real, do we, guys, anymore? What's real and what isn't real? We really do not know. Anyway, enough of me prattling on. I've brought some cards along, guys. Um, I'll close my eyes. We'll get started and we'll see if anything comes up, guys. Oh, Germany's rising again. Germany's getting on its feet again. Um... They were the ones to really kick a lot of this off again, weren't they? So I'm getting Germany's rising, which is good. Young ones, young ones. 
Um, all right. I am getting that people are really standing up in America. I am getting visuals of people standing up. People want to fight back in America. They're sick of all this. They're sick of it. And they know they have to choose a side. Like, they know they have to choose a side. So I'm getting... The other day we got the, the plane with nothing written on it flying over, the president's plane. And today I'm getting this tug-of-war rope. So I'm getting, you know, Kamala Harris, Trump. Kamala Harris, Trump. People are very torn who to vote for. Um... We know Kamala would be lying about everything she's going to implement, but it can trick people. We know people get tricked very easily by their governments, don't they, guys? So people are getting torn. Like, do we go with Trump, the person that we know who will probably make changes, who will shut the border gates, etc., cetera, et cetera, Or do we, we go with these new policies that she's making out? She's going to help the economy and help everybody to have a better life, you know, blah, 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 lie after lie upon lie upon lie. Um, but each to their own. So I'm still getting people in America are in a real tug of, in a real tug of war. I mean, some aren't. Some are really clear in their decisions. We know that. But I am getting there's this now. There's a, a bit of confusion coming in. And when they play around with social media and things, they they feed you only what they want to. We know that that's the case. So I am getting still a lot of confusion for people in the voting. You vote November fifth, I think it is which will come around rather quickly. And we're going to be bombarded with this stupid campaign trial. Oh, that's so frustrating. I bet you're sick of it in America. So there's still this tug of war. People are still weighing things up, watching the debates, watching what everyone's got to say. Um, the thing is, though, Kamala could be making these changes now, couldn't she? Mm, didn't happen on Biden's watch, so anyway... Let's just watch this space, guys. All right, hang on. I'm getting America wants to start on a clean slate too. It's like showing me them wiping their hands and wiping the slate clean. People want to start again in America. Um, everything feels too wishy-washy, um, too all over the place. Um, there's no order. And people want to go back to the clean slate and start all over again and become the old strong America that they were. Um, I always say I see visuals of the American flag outside people's houses. People were very patriotic, um, but I felt like that died a lot. I feel like I saw a lot of ripped flags and just faded flags. Well, I feel like people want to get that pride back in their country again. They want to, they want to go back to the America that was. That's what I'm getting for America. People want change, they want to wipe the slate clean and they want to start again virtually with a blank canvas because um, everything's gone south. We know it has <laughs> big time gone south. Um, just that Mexican border gate scandal that I always talk about, uh, immigrant issues has not helped anybody. Um, and like I say, and then not only do you have immigrants coming in from pretty much all over the world or crims or whatever you want to call them but then you've got the drug cartel you've got the drug issues just sweeping through america massive issues going on at the moment that's just to name a couple all right let's keep going i'm getting that fears are rising in people globally fears it's the financial fears people are being taken over now they were once suppressing repressing thinking they would get through it but now it's like bubbling up and spewing out people's mouths now. People are panicking. Um, they can't afford to live. They're not sure where the future's headed. Are the interest rates going up or going down? There's a lot of this going on. There's a lot of teasing about, oh, yeah, we might put interest rates down, but are they? Well, we'll wait and see, guys, because not seeing it happening really, and they'd have to put them down a lot. Um, so people are still really nervous. This is globally. There's enormous fear in people about cost of living still and how far it's going to go. Is it going to continue on this channel? What we always say, it'll continue to 2006. We know we've got to get through 2005 and then it'll start to perhaps ease a little in 2006. That's just what I'm getting. All right. I am getting that people are planning mini holidays. 
people are having smaller holidays they're having mini holidays i call them where they just go away for a long weekend like say you got saturday and sunday and you might add monday tuesday or oh sorry guys because people are getting tired friday and monday and make things a four-day weekend people are having mini holidays they can't afford to do the big you know european six-week jaunt that they used to do or go to Australia for five weeks. This is just kind of not happening. So people are tending to do more mini holidays uh, close by to where they live. They're not venturing as far. Things are really changing. I've got to say, my hubby and I were talking about the ski fields and how it's not that busy at the moment. And we just sort of concluded that really people, only the wealthy can afford to ski. Um, I'm sure in, in other countries like Canada and Places like this, America, you would have ski fields, I'm sure. New Zealand, you do. That it's really becoming for the elite. Um, it's like $200 a day here to get a pass. And then you've got to buy your food and everything. Unaffordable with a family. Can you imagine? Um, so I'm just getting that. People are going on mini holidays. They're doing whatever they can to have a break. Because people are exhausted, they're worn out, but they still need that break. Even if it's just they go to the beach for four days and they walk along the beach and they unwind. I'm feeling like people are really looking to do that. They know they need to unwind um, and they have to find ways to do it. So they're called, I'm getting this, more mini holidays. Mini holidays, escapism, escaping from their lives. That's what I'm getting. People are looking to escape from their lives. Can you blame them? You kind of got to create your own joy, haven't you guys? All right. I'm getting, um, I'm getting like, well, not just teenagers, but I'm getting like 15 to 25 year olds. This is globally. There, a lot of boredom is setting in. I feel like a lot of boredom is setting in. Um, a lot of kids are getting really bored. Um, I know a lot play um nintendos and tid games and all this kind of thing but i feel like it's the boredom is coming from no goal setting i feel like this age group is struggling to achieve anything and when you're not achieving things as we know it can make you feel a little flat like you're going nowhere um and i'm getting that song is it talking heads we're on the road to nowhere we're on the road to nowhere come on inside um they feel like they're on the road to nowhere because where are they going? They're treading water. They're all living at home with their parents. They're either in tiny homes or living on land of their parents or living in granny flats or um, paying board and renting, like I said, with their parents. So I am getting this age groups very bored. There's a lot of boredom setting in because they don't have extra cash to do things either, to go away, to go for dinner, to go to the movies. There's not a lot. Um, it's like their income's just disposable. They just live from week to week. Um, and it's very hard. Well, you think about it, it's very hard for anyone to save money. So it's like, there's no goals. That's what I'm getting. And they're getting bored. Their life is becoming boring, mundane, repetitive, groundhog day. This is 15 to 25 year olds. Um, they can't seem to find direction with their lives. A lot of them, um, it's that lost. They're feeling quite lost is what I'm getting. They, they, they're losing their way. That's sad, isn't it? I can understand it though. I've got a son that's 21 and um, it's challenging for them. I always say, don't worry, it's just the way the economy is. You can't move out because they can't move out, let alone find a rental. Um, in Sydney, for example, hundreds of people line up at one house all the time just to try and get a rental. And then you need, you almost need like a uni degree to get a bloody rental house. They check your resume so tightly now, like, it's not easy. So I am getting that. There's a lot of boredom setting into people's, young people's lives because of having no direction, having no goals, and feeling there's no future. Well, like, what's their future? Waiting for your parents to die, kick the bucket, and then maybe you get their house. Like, I'm guessing that's, I guess that's why we've all worked so hard to leave something to our kids, but that's still hard on the kids because they still want to achieve their own goals. So I am getting that. It's like anything, isn't it? You want to you want to know you're moving forward in life. I think a lot of people too at the moment aren't able to have any savings. It's not a lot of people saving. And that's frustrating people as well. But 
particularly, like I said, the boredom's kicking in in that age group 15 to 25. All right. Get in England. Um, I'm getting a race against time. Hang on. I still feel like you're getting immigrants brought in. Um, the laws haven't changed, like, to stop people coming into England. I feel like that hasn't changed at all. Um, they're still coming in, sadly, which will cause people to rise up. I keep saying it. Immigrants coming in, people rise up. This is what's going to be happening in England. Um, they, they haven't put a stop to the immigrants. Um, the immigrants is still a massive issue. And I know you've had a few stabbings and things over there too and issues with them. Um, crime as well. But they still haven't put a stop to it over there, which is really frustrating the people now. And that's why I think you'll get more stand-ups and fight-backs in England, London. This is the whole UK it represents. All right. Get in Australia. I'm getting like home to the underdog. Hang on. I am getting that um, elbow doesn't care about Australia. He's he's like moved on. Um, he's just doing what it takes to keep Australia propped up financially by I keep saying the resources selling us off to other countries. Um, elbow doesn't care about the small stuff. He only cares about the big global scale of things, the, the money coming in, the wealth of Australia, um, the land availability for these big companies. I'm just getting that for elbow. Um, it's like saying the sky's the limit. He, he thinks big. He always does the big stuff elbow. He doesn't care about the small, you know, all the crime that's going on and all the things that are going on, he's not interested in that. He's interested in where the big dollars and the power is. That's what Elbow's interested in. Big corporate and obviously Panda buying everything. Um, that's all he's interested in. He's not interested in petty um, daily issues like cost of living, you know, just a small issue because he doesn't have an issue with it. He wouldn't have a problem with cost of living on the wage he gets. And even if, when he gets out, he'll still be earning good money. They get good money. Let's see what else we get. I'm getting New Zealand and they're showing me a putting green and you're getting a hole in one. It's like really positive in New Zealand at the moment. I'm just getting that a hole in one is like huge. You think of someone getting a hole in one, they usually win a car or a prize or something like that. Well, I'm getting that for you guys. Um, it's like a hole in one. You, you're having good success at the moment. Chris Luxon's really putting you guys on the world stage and you're getting good success. So I'm getting that putting a hole in one. Um, it's like a big surprise for people too that you finally got a little bit of freedom and um, someone's not just pushing, pushing stuff onto the little people. Um, I'm getting that. And they're showing me like someone hitting off a golf ball and it's super straight and it's heading straight for the green. And and that's what I'm getting for New Zealand. You're, you're heading in a really good straight direction. That's just what I'm getting. Like they're showing me the golf ball airborne and then it lands on the, um, the little putting green. Like you're going, New Zealand's going in a good direction is the message that they're giving me. That's, that's really positive guys. I'm getting China, though, which is Canada if you're new here. I'm getting that Trudeau's overwhelming the people now. He, he's really implementing a lot and he's starting to overwhelm the people. People have been blindsided by Trudeau's decision making, the things he's brought in. They didn't expect him to be such a t dictating tyrant. Unfortunately, he is one. But people are starting to realise that now. They're really waking up in big groups. They're waking up to his garbage. Um, and they're also waking up that there's nothing in it for the little people. It's it's all for Trudeau to achieve and tick off his goals and have great success. So people are starting to see through all that now. 
they know they were in the brunt of his decisions and it's it's not sitting right. It's not gelling with the people that don't like it. Um, I am getting that for China. I'm getting movement in Ontario. Movement in Ontario. I think you had protests there before, maybe during the Ottawa ones, but I am getting movement in Ontario. People are coming together. They're coming together. There's these freedom movements I keep getting in China. People coming together, coming together en masse. You've got to do it en masse in order to have an impact or make a difference. Could be starting in Ontario, I think. Hang on. I feel like... I'm getting like we talk a lot about food and that. I feel like fish is going to become more popular food. Like, you know, fish is something probably some of you might eat regularly, but a lot of us eat it kind of part-time. It's like a part-time food. You usually buy your tuna in the can or your salmon slices or tuna in oil or you mostly buy it in a can. But I feel like fresh fish is going to become more popular. People are going to be cooking more whole fish in the oven it's very healthy for you too. So I feel like fish is going to become a good alternative with the fact that steak is becoming very expensive. Like I said, it's going to become more of a delicacy long term, like lobster. So I feel like fish is going to be very, very popular kind of substitute that's going to be affordable. Um, that's just what I'm getting. <sighs> All right, guys. How about we pull some cars today? I'm a little tired today. Sorry, guys. Um, what will we pull first? Let's pull an Oracle of the Unicorns. Haven't done these cards for a while, guys, have we? Ah, I just gotta put my glasses on. This will give us a bit of guidance, guys, to how do we keep going through this nonsense that we're being fed. Yeah, rebirth. Reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams. Create a new reality. See, we talk about this all the time. Flying above things. Staying out of things. Beautiful card. Look at it coming out of the rose, the unicorn. Rebirth. That's about ourselves. So even after what I've been through, I'm going to be a different person after this. That's for sure. Give life to your dreams and create a new reality. We have. We've created Terabella, haven't we, guys? The Braveheart, Biker, Freedom, Fighter, Maverick, Rebels have created Terabella. That's our happy place that we go to and we switch off from all the nonsense and garbage that we've currently been fed. Um, let's pull a Luna pin. These are cute, aren't they? These little cards. I know a lot of you guys like these cards. Might do these this way. Hmm. I'll shuffle them a bit more. Hmm. Oh, cute. Two of cups. Oh, look at that. Two of cups, meaning our cups are full. We have abundance. Um, the antenna ears are up. Look, we're connecting with other people. I'm also seeing this as that DNA structure. I feel like we're repairing, we're healing. Um, sort of rejoicing, really, in that cup. I just, I feel, a, you know, it's very golden, isn't it, that card? I just feel a real positivity from that card. Like, the, it's almost like, Cheers, isn't it? You both got your whatever's in your cup, your wine, <laughs> your water, your lemonade, raspberry lemonade. Um, yeah, it's just a very positive card. It's the coming together and, and connecting with, I guess, like kind and understanding others as well. Um, I'm also going to pull a Whispering Woods, guys. I haven't done these ones for yonks. Weeks and weeks and weeks, has it, guys? Weeks and weeks. Ah! Okay, what have we got? Oh, this is so us. Path, wander on the path less travelled. What you might find might surprise you. Beautiful. So true. But that's so us, isn't it, guys? We never travel on the path that's very worn out. We always travel on our own path, don't we? Even if we have to use a matic and cut our way clear we always forge our own path forward and we have to keep doing that that's the big message from the guides just today um because that's where you get all the wonderful surprises in life you know you discover new things um you learn things it's wonderful um let me see if there's anything else to close with today
Michael, they're giving me a George Michael song. I, can, I can't think of the words, but it's like, turn a different corner and I will be there. You and I together and I will be there. I'll be there. It's a George Michael song. Turn a different corner. Sorry, I don't know the name of the song. Something little by little. I will be spared. Oh, I can't think of the name of the song, guys. Great song, though. I'm sure you probably know it. We all love George Michael, don't we? Let's see if there's anything else. They keep giving me George Michael. Um, getting that turn down the lights. Make it see, don't you forget. Um, I can't think of the name of the songs. <laughs> oh my god, I'm hopeless. I think it's I Can't Make You Love Me If You Don't. I think that's what the song's called. I love George Michael. He's just got the best voice, hasn't he? Um, hang on a minute. Oh, these keep giving me George Michael. Obviously, we're meant to listen to a bit of George Michael today. Um, hold on, let me see. There's one more thing. They're giving me a Stevie Nicks song. Nearly do this today. Um, Leather and Lace, is that the name of the song? Take from me my lace. Love lasts forever, space to space. City or mountain, stay with me, stay. Um, I'm sure it's Leather and Lace. Such a pretty song. I think I'm going to leave you with that today. A little bit of Fleetwood Mac and... Um, I think I'm going to leave it with that leather and lace, I think it's cool. Hang on. Mm. They give me like Stevie Nicks singing that bird. What's that little bird song she sings? Um. Oh, I can't think of it. God, I'm having a shocker today, guys. Um, it's about the bird. Oh, I've gone blank. Maybe Lindsay Buckingham sings that. Oh, God, I'm just having a shocker. Hang on. I'm going to leave you with this song today by Lionel Richie. Hello. Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. You're all I ever wanted. My arms are open wide. Um, I'm just going to leave you with that song today. Hello by Lionel Richie. Such an absolutely beautiful song. He had an incredible voice, didn't he, Lionel Richie? I'm going to leave you with that today. Hello. What's it mean? I guess if I guess if I think about the film clip, it's about um, a blind girl at a college that falls in love with her art teacher and she makes a sculpture. On. So I think what the guides are saying to us there is make sure you're using all your senses, not just your sight. Remember we talk about this a lot, guys, not just to use your visual, to use your intuition, your sixth sense. Um, it paints a picture. I guess that's what I'm getting when I get that. If you look at the film clip, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, your everything antenna everything we talk about can create a picture keep doing that guys stay in your creative mode and keep those creative juices flowing because you'll see the real picture of everything that's going on 
So that's what I'm going to leave you with today. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. It's Sunday morning here. I'm going to go and do a couple of small jobs. Not many because I can't do much. I can't bend over still. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend, like I said. Uh, thank you, thank you for being here on my channel. And subscribe, subscribing. Um, be lovely to have you here. If you haven't subscribed, hit those like buttons, guys. Helps me a lot. And please feel free to comment. I love hearing from you. I try to write back to you all because you are important to me. It's interesting to hear what you have to say. We come from all different parts around the world. So please continue to write to me. It's beautiful to hear from you. And thank you again for all your beautiful kind wishes. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone. Bye.